All right, we're in Maya 2023, and I have PureRef opened, and this is from Dying Light 2. One of my students was trying to make this, and then he got to this section, and he was really struggling with it. So at first glance, this looks pretty darn complex, but it's really not that bad. It's just a different way to think about modeling for, for a beginner. When I'm looking at this, I envision two pipes, and that's what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna go to Create, Polygon Primitives, and a pipe. I am then gonna go to my channel box under inputs because I can change the radius of this. So I'm really just looking at this wall thickness here, trying to match that just proportion wise. I'm gonna press E to rotate, J before I start rotating to snap. And that's gonna snap in increments. So let's scale, pressing R. And now essentially I have this section. So what I'm gonna do is press W and then shift D as in Delta. We're gonna duplicate that over, clone that over. Mm, actually, I don't like it. Let's make this slightly smaller. And this is just gonna be a quick example. Once I have that, I'm gonna combine both of these. So I can left click and drag to highlight those, hop into my modeling toolkit, just so you know where it is. I can press combine. Anytime I press combine, I like to clear my history. So that is Alt Shift D as in Delta. It's also up here, edit, delete by type history. And now this will behave like it's one object. So what I'm gonna do is uh, maybe grab some of these faces and then I could, well, let's go even further. Let's do something like that. I could bridge my modeling toolkit, bridge that straight across. That's great. Now I have these faces. Something like so. Uh, I don't like pressing it through, so I'm gonna press W, hold shift, left click and drag on the arrow to pull that out. And then it really needs to be flat. So I am going to press R to scale. I'm gonna scale into itself. This will just give me a good starting place to work from. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab these faces, holding shift. I can grab multiple faces. I'm gonna extrude. Yeah, and I can just bridge this across, looking good. Um, I will do this angled part now. Let's go ahead and just kind of rotate my view slightly. I'm gonna go to vertex mode, grab, actually let's grab all of those verts. We're just gonna scooch this back. We're just gonna go up, grab those, scooch. You get the idea here, nothing crazy. I could fix that. That's not perfect, but that's okay. Uh, last but not least, let's grab this face here and extrude. Yeah, let's just go all the way and then I can scale something like that. Now, this isn't perfect, but it's just a different way of thinking about it. And yeah, just a different way of thinking about it. Sure, I could have done this in multiple objects, but using these two, combining them, I'm able to basically make that shape and it really wasn't that hard to do.